YouTubers, Ultimate SpongeBob 101 back here again on the SpongeBob channel, and it's Trading Card Month. So it is also, and it's also time for our SpongeBob SquarePants Top Trading Card Series Two um, card uh, review slash overview that's showing you guys the cards. Okay, so there's part two of our trading card coverage for SpongeBob Tops uh, Top SpongeBob Trading Cards. So. And we're back again, obviously, with the cards. So, I um, mean, if you haven't seen the previous video already, there'll be annotations throughout the whole video here uh, to visit part one. And when part three is up, you can go check it out far here. Also, if you like to see the playlist for it, a uh, link in the description box below. Um, yeah, so uh, we are planning on having uh, because uh, next week is. Uh, March school holidays here in Singapore, so planning on having a uh, week, uh, week, uh, like a week, uh, weekly video marathon, just for that week alone. So yeah, there's basically gonna be a, a new video every day. So um, yeah, because we got uh, some stuff to tell you guys, show you guys, and uh, whatnot. Okay, and uh, we can't really fit that into our main line schedule, so we just have to put that in there. Okay, now anyways. To get on to the cards, so let's just switch to picture mode. We're out of background and focus up on the cards. Okay, so we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go from cards. Uh, what, does, what is this card? Oh, 22 to um, let's see, uh, 45. Okay, so it's cards 22 to 45. So, anyways, we're starting off with the Bikini Bottom Comics uh, cards. There are three of them in a set in total. So it says collector's item. Uh, first issue, Bikini Bottom Comics, The Adventures of Spongebob, Bikini Bottom's Greatest Hero. Okay, and at the back you have a uh, crossword, Bikini Bottom's Greatest Hero, Jumbo of Justice. Can you find the following names in the word search? Okay, now that's first card. Next up, the second card in that uh, subset. We have the Adventures of SpongeBob. Second issue, The Legend of the Sponge. And at the back here we have. Okay, so. Uh, the Legend of the Sponge. Let's just see whether we can go a little bit clearer. Okay, anyways, some of these superhero type slogans have actually been heard on episodes of SpongeBob SquarePants. Some of them are made up. Can you tell which is which? Here they are. So basically, um, this is a question card. So we're going to be using one of these questions in our giveaway. So uh, if you guys still don't know yet, uh, all the videos and, uh, for the for this particular series will have a giveaway in it. Okay, so the previous one uh, we were giving away, I believe, uh, Moshi Monsters cards. So this time we're going to uh, give away... Um, the new Slam Attacks uh, cards, okay? Uh, I forgot what it's called, but um, I did see it around uh, town yesterday on the shopping when we went shopping, so um, yeah, I'm not so sure what it's called, but yeah, there's a new Slam Attacks set out, so we'll, be, uh, we'll make sure to do some uh, of those uh, videos, uh, openings on our other stuff channel. Link can be found in the description box below. If it's not there, it'll probably be on the channel homepage. Okay. Anyways, here they are. So there is a hmm, leaping lampreys, spouting narwhals, great whales in the ocean by the power of Neptune, by the deliciousness of tuna, mermaid man, barnacle boy unite, clownfish entertain me, by the briny deep. And creatures of the deep assemble. You notice we're blocking out the answers so you can see it. So anyway, card 23. Okay. Now next up, we have here final card of the comic book set. Okay, and it is none other than the Adventures of SpongeBob: Escape from the Vortex. Do do do. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, Escape from the Vortex. Hey there, Spongeheads. In this mighty miraculous issue of the Adventures of Spongebob, Sunshine and his villain sidekick Patrick escape the Vortex, which, coincident or not, always seems to appear just behind the chum bucket. Here, 
Here are some of the things Spongebob and Petri encounter in the Cursed Vortex. Number one. Okay, number one. Plankton and Mr. Krabs enjoying a day at a park together. Two, an alternate Spongebob who actually has his driver license. Three, an evil purple Patrick. Uh, let me just try to zoom in a little bit. Uh, shaped like a triangle, skirt tentacles as Bikini Bottom's foremost m uh, motivational speaker. Well, it's pretty creepy. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, I'm just gonna put the cards here. So, uh, we're planning on having a, a new stuff video for a Friday. So, yeah, we got plenty of new stuff uh, yeah, on uh, Saturday. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's all the comic book ones. Now we're gonna go on to the flashback one, starting with card number 25. And we have this Sand Mop Squid Pants on episode Ripped Pants. The flashback cards. <coughs> Excuse me. So, anyways, gosh, Squidward, no, SpongeBob sure has, sure does a great impersonate, uh, Squidward impersonation. Blah blah blah. Now you can just read that. I'm not gonna see all of it. If not, it's gonna take a little too long. So again, 25. Now, next. So basically, for every episode in the flashback series, you have three of them. So this one's, oops, I ripped my pants. Hmm. Here's the other clothing mish related mishaps we didn't see. Chewing on his necktie, although he, he thought it was sea bacon. Put his socks on his head and his hat on his feet, and it wasn't even socks and hat switcheroo day. Wore a fur coat for a whole day before realizing it was actually Sandy. Boy, she was upset. Ew, that's weird. <laughs> okay, and next for ripped pants, surfing split pants. And we have movies about people with ripped pants. An American in ripped pants. Jack the ripped pants. The talented Mr. Ripped Pants, Mr. Ripped Pants, yeah, and the Ripped Pants story. That's lame. Seriously, I don't get it. Okay. Now next we have I was a teenage Gary. Uh, yeah. So you know, it's uh, usually the flashback. Oh, yeah. This one I don't know why, but there's another flashback sign here, when it's always here. So. Yeah, it's pretty weird, but oh well. So, the snail plasma takes effect. Oh, this is a quiz. Okay, so I'm gonna cover the answers there. So, this is probably gonna be one of the questions as well. The snail plasma takes effect. In this episode, SpongeBob and Patrick go to the jellyfishing convention, match the residents of a Kini Bottom to the convention they most likely attend. So, the conventions are Karate Con. Uh, Ocean White Haunting Con, Money Fest, and Slime Wall, and the uh, characters are Mr. Krabs, Gary, Sandy Cheeks, and the Flying Dutchman. So you guys should know what, uh, who goes to what. Yeah, 28. Okay, next. We have Sponge, no, Squidward meets Snail Bot. And this one. Okay, there you go, 29. Now, lastly, for I was a teenage Gary singing snail party. If you guys can remember, this was a uh, part at the ending of this episode where school got injected with the snail plasma as well. The only thing that I don't understand uh, about this is that how did school even get a shell? I don't get it. Okay, so we got a word search here. Twenty, no thirty. Card three. So basically, we uh, one third uh, across the whole set already. So oh well. Now on to the next episode. Uh, Frank and Doodle, magic pencil mischief where they draw uh, where they drew the uh, really creepy Squidward. Yeah. Thirty one. Now next the m old magic doodle money trick. They drew the money on a. Uh, Squidward and uh, Squidward's doormat, and they pulled it away when he wanted to get it, and his hair flew away. Yeah. Okay.
surprisingly no one has answered D. Draw a never ending pile of broccoli that you could take everywhere. Obviously no one would draw. No one has answered D. Who wants to bring a never ending pile of broccoli that that you can take anywhere? It's like so annoying. You have to bring a giant pile everywhere. What's the point? <laughs> um, the ice cream sundae, j um, not likely as well. It's like, yeah, they carry like billions and billions of ice cream sundaes wherever you go. It's really weird. If I, if I, if you ask me, um, nah, I'll, I'll take a, draw a giant bodyguard to take care of all the bullies at school. I mean, I'm not being bullied or anything, but, oh well, it's, <laughs> for me, I don't know why, it's just really the most obvious one. Okay, anyways, we got Revenge of Doodabob, the evil Spongebob, dun 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 dun. So, this is another quiz. So, here are some drawings of Spongebob and friends created with the magic pencil scene in this episode. But only one of them means any harm. Can you circle it? It's really obvious. It's even in a different shade of color. <laughs> okay, and uh, yeah, so, it's gonna question 33. So basically, each one will only have seven questions, seven to eight at least. So yeah, okay. Now we're gonna go on to another episode, and this one is Sailor Mouth. Okay, so earplugs, 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 and earplugs. So this one's still laughing. Okay, there's another quiz. The Mother Octopus. Blah blah. blah. Okay, so you can just answer that question. Um, I'm just... I don't know why it's not being really clear. Let me just try to zoom in a little bit more. Ah, oh, there we go. Much better, don't you think? 34. Now, next. Wiping the fancy away from Sailor Mouth, as usual. Oh, this is another quiz. Pretty good. Okay, fancy last name. 35. And lastly for the episode, Tattletales. Well, not the quiz again. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's not a quiz. Okay, this one sounds a little bit better, so I'll read it anyway. Uh, Spencer and Patrick have just come, uh, come from playing the board game Ease and Escalators. We thought of some other bot games. Spongebob might like to play. Okay, might. Uh, Hungry Hungry Patrick, Krabby Land, Maniopoly, Mr. Krabs Edition, and Sponges and Dragons. 36. Okay. Now, next episode is Skill Crane. Uh, and here is Spongebob the Disguise. Now, I don't think this is a very good card. I mean, the title doesn't really fit it very well, but I can't think of anything better anyway. But it just doesn't sound right. Okay, and um, yeah, this one's pretty weird. So how can Mr. Krabs just fit into Spongebob's Like, Is this Spongebob has nothing inside his skin? It's really weird. Another quiz, so... Oh well. Uh, okay. Nothing excites Mr. Krabs more than a buck, and she sure stands to make a lot of them from his new screw cream machine. Which of the following are units of currency, living creatures, or both? Clam, yen, buck, pound. Hmm, let's see. So, yeah, he has the list uh, the ones for living creatures, and the ones. Uh, well. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. The one, uh, yeah, the list of ones that are actually living creatures. And the ones that are both in real life as living creatures and as the nominations of cash. Oh, I mean, units of currency. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty confusing. Now, uh, next we have the Great Skill Crane Challenge. Where Skill is obsessed with the Skill Crane. And every time SpongeBob wins, every time SpongeBob plays, he wins. So yeah, pretty sad. Okay, so there's another quiz thing. And thirty-eight. 
Next, Secret of the Skill Crane. This is 39 and it's another quiz. So you need to watch this episode to answer those. Uh, 39. And next episode, Wick Strap Wick Wearing Fry Cook. This is one of the worst Sponge episodes I've ever seen, if you ask me. So, uh, it's pretty bad that they actually included this in the set. But oh well. What? It's still a Sponge cards, right? So, yeah. It's 40. And next up, Buck Struck. Oh, it's starting to rain. Let's close the window first. Okay, anyways, yeah, it says what you're saying, buck struck, and it says Spongebob has bucks all over, has Spongebob's wig has bucks all over it, draw bucks under this wig, so it doesn't draw here, obviously we're not going to do that. Okay, next, we have light and fashionable, this was the one where, uh, this was the part where he went to the movies. Okay, and... This is card 42. There's another quiz here. No. 43. Uh, this one's already from season 5. Um, Spy Buddies. The mark has been left. This was the part where they got their message from Mr. Krabs through the Krabby Patty. And, uh, yeah. Patrick panicked and he put the Krabby Patty into his pants. Which was pretty stupid, actually. Um, considering the fact that he knew he was gonna blow up his lower part of the body, let alone his whole body. I don't even know how he managed to survive that, but oh well. So, 43. The I'll Get You Kratz Burger. <laughs> the Super I'll Get You Kratz Burger. Revenge Law. Serve Cold. Huh. Okay. Then next we have our second last card of this video. Plankton's buying a stamp over and Patrick's still in his baby outfit that he got from Babies R Us or something. Yeah. 44. Okay, so basically, um, okay, now this is our last card for this video, and um, apparently we actually managed to split this whole set into half. Why? Yeah, and just see how. Okay, um, Unscath from Smile Buddies. And this one is rather interesting because you get a complete uh, maze. Complete Sponge of Super Spy Maze. This is 45. So basically, after this card, it's basically half the set complete uh, for the base set itself. So, yeah. Anyways, that's all for this video. Um, now it's time for the questions. We're gonna leave the leave the questions up there, starting from uh, right now. Uh, well, continue talking. So, um, yeah, uh, you guys can answer the, those questions, and we'll be and we'll, the winner who gets the first. Who posts the first comment with all the correct answers, or uh, will contact the, uh, him or her, and uh, will send you got uh, send you a uh, two packs of uh, Slam Tax cards. Okay, so yeah, um, yeah. So the uh, questions should be uh, should disappear right about. Um, let's see, right about, right about. Uh, let's say right about. Now, okay, so it's gone. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's all for this video. Hope you um, enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like Sponge Trading Cards, make sure to click that like button, and we'll have more uh, Sponge Trading Cards videos uh, coming up uh, in the following weeks. Okay, so um, for this Friday, uh, we'll, we did actually post a schedule for the first two weeks of March on our on the channel homepage as feed. However, uh, um, we're still not uh, too. Oh yes, uh, we just forgot. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have uh, s a new bunch of stuff uh, this Friday, so do you stay tuned for that. And uh, next week uh, it's the holiday, so well, what do you know? It's time to party. Just joking.
got a lot of stuff to do, homework to do, study, uh, test to study for, so, um, yeah, but, but still, we're gonna have a daily video for the entire week, including the Saturday and Sunday, so 70 videos. So, that's all for this video, thank you for watching, it's Auto Adventure 101 here, and make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, Twitter, etc. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!